What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we have some very, very awesome things going on because today starts the new DLC, the Frontline Fighters DLC and that is very cool. Because of that we have tons of Garden Warfare 2 content coming today, tomorrow and throughout the next few days because there is so much stuff that is going on and that's what I'm going to be doing today. We're going to be checking out the mailbox, explaining it all and then after all of that we're going to be spending 1 million coins on the brand new pack that is available. If you don't know, like, like why don't I have a million coins, then you'll see in just one second, because there is actually a new edition of the game out, which is called the, um, what's it called, the festive edition. So you can either buy the new Garden Warfare 2 game if you don't have it already, or you can upgrade for $10 to the festive edition. So yeah, let's read this. Let the festivities begin. Happy holidays, you've purchased a PVZ Garden Warfare 2 festive edition. Open your gifts in the sticker shop to receive the can Commando Corn Legendary Fast Firing Baby Corn Rockets with Splash Damage. The zombies won't know what hit them. And then the Scallywag Imp Legendary, a close range specialist that comes with the Scallywag Mech and the Legendary Yo Ho Ho Mode. And then 200,000 coins, enough coins to go on a pack shopping spree in the sticker shop, which is what we're doing in today's episode. And then the Festive Customization Pack, unwrap, customize, and get into the festive spirit because starting today, December 1st, we have holiday Christmas related items coming into the game, which is very, very cool. And then, of course, the brand new DLC, the Frontline Fighters are here, pushing to the limit in a battle for battle for the border at Frontline Flats, which is a brand new map. Refresh, reinforce, and refuse to lose with four new Frontline Fighters, two Legendaries, the Commando Corn, and the Scallylag Imp, and then two variants, the Necros and the Captain Squawk. What's new in the game is an online split screen, new map, Frontline Flaps, 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 New legendary characters, new character variants, and the Festivus content event starts December 13th. So the actual Festivus starts on the 13th of December, but we're able to open up some Festivus stuff right now, which is very, very cool. And then Rux is here, of course, new Rux stuff, and then we do have a mystery portal available right now, which we won't quite see just yet, but yes, there is a brand new mystery portal right now. As of recording this, the mystery portal is broken. Like, if you go into it, it will not work, so if that's happening to you, don't freak out. As you can see, it already says unknown. Um, because of that, I was going to record the mystery portal first, because, you know, when I was recording the mystery portal, the fest of his stuff wasn't out, so I did actually... I opened a red mystery chest, which is why I have zero stars down instead of 15, but because of that also, <laughs> I never actually open it, so we will be opening it in today's episode. Just tons of stuff is being opened, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you do, of course, you know what to do. Make sure to give it a like. Let's go ahead and promote some characters that we have. We actually mastered the computer scientist, and on top of that, plus the 200,000 coins, that would make one million. So we're gonna use that to open up the brand new pack and hopefully get those two variants, because we already are getting the two legendaries guaranteed. So yeah. I'm so excited, hopefully you guys are too. If you are, make sure you show your support on today's videos, but as you can see, there is multiple things here. We got ourselves the Red Mystery Portal Pack, we got the Big Spender Pack, the Commando Corn Pack, the Festive, or the Festive Edition Pack, and the Scally Scallywag Impact. I'm gonna have such a hard time saying that. But let's start at the beginning with the Red Mystery Portal Pack, start things off nice and slow. We get ourselves, what a legendary! Nice and slow, we start with a legendary. Oh my gosh, okay, so we got the stop sign mask, which is a classic item, the happy dance going to for one gesture for the chomper, and then the serene cinnamon roll hat legendary. Oh my gosh, awesome stuff. Okay, let's now open up the big spender pack, which is gonna total our coins to 1,002,383, which is pretty darn cool. And then the commando corn pack contains a commando corn character. You guys have known that I have every single corn of corn mastered and I can't wait to master this guy however he's gonna play. I'm super excited for it. it is, oh man, so cool looking. The new legendary character, commando corn. Awesome stuff, if you wanna see him showcase, stay tuned until later today. We should be playing him later today in an episode along with Another character. But for right now, let's open up the festive edition pack. It contains eight exclusive holiday items. Open this bad boy up and we get ourselves. Ooh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, made me freak out for a second. It played the legendary sound. But we get the ornament helmet, 
we get the elf hat, we get the big red ribbon hat, the star hat, the antler hat, the tree lights, the stocking hat, and the tin box hat. Very cool, a whole big old set of hats for just about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all like a bunch of just plants and zombies. So that's very, very cool. Happy to see that. And then finally, we have the Scallywag Imp Pack, which contains the legendary Scallywag Imp character. Open this bad boy up and get ourselves yet another legendary. So cool. This guy looks great. I've been wanting a new imp just as much as I've been wanting a new Colonel Corn. So I'm just glad that there's four new characters in the game. So with all of that being said, this is the Frontline Fighters Pack. Contains five items and is a mix of the Frontline Fighter customization items and consumable items. There's also a possibility of getting the Necros, Captain Squawk, Commando Corn, or Scallywag Imp character piece. Very, very cool. We're gonna be opening up 20 of these because of course 50 divided, 50,000 divided into 1 million is 20. So if you guys enjoy this unpacking, once again, make sure you give this video a like and just show me your support in the comment section below. Even put in that hashtag ZebraLuck if you want to help us get these two new characters to completely complete the Frontline Fighters setup. Let's go ahead and start opening things up though. And if you wanna see any of the stuff we unpack in a video, make sure you stay tuned because that is happening and we already get a piece of Captain Squawk, one out of five. We also get the Pirate Knight set, Ooh, one piece of that. The Cosmo set, the Medieval set, and the Terracotta Weed. And we gotta go all the way to the end to keep opening these. I am just so happy though. 50,000 is quite the price, but it's still definitely worth it. And, ah, oh, we didn't get it this time, but we got the Super Rare Tribal set, which is adorable. The Super Rare Dandelion Weed, the Uncommon Mayan set, the Silver Alchemy set, and the Alchemy set. So, these two. So I guess you can get silver sets? Wow, that's actually really weird when you think about it. All right then, so let's go ahead and open this up and we get, come on. It's gonna be scaring. So, ooh, the Cosmo set. I'm scared because I really wanna be able to get all the characters today, but I'm not sure if we will be able to. We get the Plague Doctor set, the Stone Age set, the Tribal set, and the Terracotta Weed. So a lot of commons there, but if we're opening up 20 packs and we need to get 10 stickers, on average, every other pack we open needs to be a character piece. So right now we're already behind. Ooh, yes, okay then, we're back on track. So four packs, two of them had stickers in them. That's really good. So that is the super rare character sticker for, of course, Captain Squawk. We got the Lunar set, I can't wait to see that finish. The Rocket Bot, the Raider set, and the Wild West set. Very, very cool. I can't wait to complete my first set because we haven't done that yet. There's a lot of sets in the game. These take forever to open, too. They just like sit there for a while. So the Rocket Scientist set, the Royal Knight set, I like that one. That one looks cool. The Heel Weed, the Silver Stone Age set, and the Silver Wild West set. Okay, there's like an ambulance passing by outside. I hope everybody's okay. <laughs> Sorry if it makes noise on the microphone. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, we get our first piece of the Necros, which is very, very cool. We get the Silver Royal Knight set. We got the Inca set, the Silver Pirate Knight set, and the Weedwood Shield. Very, very good. I'm glad there are new customizations. I was sort of kind of hoping for a customization or two for the Torchwood or the new Hover Ghost, but we haven't seen that just yet. The Royal Knight set, the Bandit set, the Bonehead set, the Miner set, and the Buckethead Zombie. So we're... Making good progress into our coins so far, yet we haven't seen as many stickers as I hoped. Hopefully we can see more here. Ooh, ah, oh, there we go. There's another piece for the Necros. We need three more for her and three more for the Captain Squawk. We got the Astronaut set, that's very cool. The Porcelain Vase Weed, uh, the Egyptian set, and the Raider set. Very cool. Let's open up this right here. Ooh. And bada boom, very good, very good, very good. We get, ah, oh, not a piece this time. The Spaceball set, the Mayan Pirate set. <laughs> He's got a little nose feather going on there. The Silver Inca set, the Silver Egyptian set, and the Weedwood Shion. Now with the sets, the idea is that there's multiple items in a set, and then once you get them all, you have the entire set. It seems like we're only getting like one piece per set though, it's really weird. Oh, there we go, there is piece three out of five for Captain Squawk, which is really good. We are now halfway through, which means we need five more pieces, so we're even right now. We need five more pieces in the second half. So, ooh, I like that, the Sheriff set, that would look good on the law bean. The Silver Astronaut set, the Ice Room, and the Silver Tribal set. Okay then, 
Let's open up this and see what we get inside. Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, not this time. We get the astronaut set. Oh, see, this is another piece of the astronaut set. Didn't we just get one earlier? So there is two pieces in one set. The Royal Knight set, another piece in the Royal Knight set. The Plague Doctor set, the Prospector set, and the Screen Door Zombie. Very cool. I can't wait to complete our first set, because I'll make videos on the sets. Like, that sounds fun. Let's see what we get in this. Ooh, come on. Oh, that's self revive. That might not be a good set. Here is another piece to the Necro, so we need two more pieces for Necros, two more pieces for, of course, our good old pal, Captain Squawk. We got the Raider set. He has a little salvander on his nose. That's cute. The Gold Wild West set, the Spaceball set, so another piece of the Spaceball set, and a self-revive. Very cool, very cool. And what are we gonna get in here? Ooh, it takes so long. <laughs> it's like deciding if it wants to be nice to me. Oh no. Not a character sticker. All right, then we got the super rare retro space set. A lot of space related things. The miner set, a lot of mining things too. Aztec set, archer set, and weed. Okay, very cool, very cool. And then let's get this one. After this, we have six more we can open up. So this is our seventh to last one. Come on, give me a character piece. Ah. The Silver Astronaut set, the Aztec set, the Rocket Bot, the Ancient Scientist set, and then the Gold Egyptian set. Actually, the Gold one looks really cool there. Six more to go. I'm gonna need that hashtag ZebraLux, so if you haven't put it in the comment section already, feel free to if you'd like. And ooh, it's already coming through. Thank you, guys. We need one more Necros. If the Necros makes a turnout, we get her first, I'd be surprised. Gold Astronaut set, the Pharaoh set, that's gonna be cool when I complete that. The Derby set, and the Self Revive. Okay, then. Okay, so we got five more left. What are we gonna get in this one? Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, this is not good. We have four more left, and we need three more pieces, so the chances are gonna be a little low, but not impossible. The Silver Spaceball set, the Breaker Bot, the Knight set, the gold alchemy set, and the astronaut set. That's our third piece in the astronaut set. We might actually finish that. I mean, really, what more? I mean, we need her arms. We need the astronaut arms, then we're done with that set. That's actually very, very cool. Okay, what are we gonna get in here? Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, the gold space ball set, the gold royal knight set, the silver ancient scientist set, the silver raider set, and self revive. So, this is where things get intense. If we want, both of the characters, we need to get a sticker out of the next three final packs. Let's do it, come on, we got it, not a problem. I believe in myself, and I believe in the game. Will it believe in me? Yes, okay, off to a good start. We need two more stickers, and we're done. So there is the second to last piece to the Captain Squawks, the Vase Weed, the Silver Astronaut set, the Bandit set, and the Gold Pirate set, which also looks pretty cool. Okay, come on. Either a piece of the Captain Squawk or the Necros will finish it for us here today. Ooh, boy. It's down to the line. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, well. Either way, the Egyptian set, which is super rare, the Rocket Scientist set, the Ranger set, the Miner set, and the Pea Cannon. I don't even see... I don't see anything different here. What? <laughs> I don't see anything different there. Okay, so the final one, will we get a piece of the Necros? Will we get the final piece of Captain Squawk? Or will we get nothing? Let's find out. Well, we got something, just not a sticker. Come on, come on. Ooh, oh, that stinks. We are so close though, so that means throughout the next few episodes we'll be opening up a pack or two every once in a while, but we still have two legendary characters that we will be showing off very, very soon. But here you can see we got the Silver Retro Space Set, the Silver Archer Set, the Goop Shroom, the Gem Pirate Knight, and the Diamond Pirate Knight Set. All right then, very, very cool, no matter what. I mean, we got a lot of hashtag zebra luck there just because of the fact that we also got a new legendary hat. I mean, I can't complain no matter what. What does this want me to see? Because I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this, and I've seen that, and I've seen that. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our new legendary hat at the two new legendary characters just to keep, you know, do a quick peek. Look at this guy. He is so cool. If you want to see a showcase of him and the brand new Colonel Corn, which is right over here. Like I said, stay tuned because that is happening 
today, or at least the plan is to do at least one of these guys today. He has a funny hairdo, but I like it. So two new legendary characters. We are two pieces away from two new super rare characters, which is great. All right, let's go over to Citron, because now we have our first ever legendary Citron hat, which should be uh, down here. Let's see, somewhere around here, right? Yeah, here it is. It's a Serene Cinnamon, 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 Cinnamon Roll Set. I have not seen this hat before, so we might as well go ahead and open it, or not open it up, but <laughs> go ahead and check it out. Let's go and beat up a champion character and see what it looks like when that happens. But yeah, if you guys are excited for that kind of stuff, feel free to let me know which one you want to see first. Which character would you like me to show off first? I mean, I'm going to be showing them both off very, very soon, no matter what, so stay tuned. Also, while we're doing this, a lot of people have been asking me to check out the brand new PvZ Heroes update, which is the Red update, which is only iOS exclusive. I don't have any Apple products, so I can't show it off. That is really cool, but also sort of creepy. <laughs> that is actually a little bit creepy, but um, yeah. Still, uh, I would love to show off the new Red update in PvZ Heroes, but I literally cannot because I don't have the game on that, you know, a version. But let's go ahead and check out uh, Rux over here. And you know what? Does he still, let's see. Let's see what he's selling. Okay, so we already own it. Oh man, why couldn't you have been selling the other piece I needed? But as you can see, he still has a few other items that are pretty interesting. We got ourselves the classic Tiki Arms, the Scrumptious Cyber Cactus, the Jet Topper, and the Scrumptious Gifts of Giving. So definitely we're gonna be going ahead and getting this, the Jet Topper, within the next 68 hours. But for right now, that's gonna be it for today. Stay tuned, like I said, plenty of awesome Garden War for 2 content coming. But for now, that will be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can you stop it, young man? Can you stop it? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part in the video, make sure you comment Frontline Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.